Hello guys, welcome to a new series on my channel called Console Peasant Quotes. If you don't know what console peasant is, basically it's someone who makes up information about their platform to make it look superior. And uh, thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. In this graph, he shows that PCs have 25% of the market share and consoles and mobile games have the rest. Well, this is where I prove him wrong. I have a graph here that shows that PC gaming has actually risen in the last few years, unlike what it says in this graph. Many modern PC games are shackled by politically correct storytelling. So then, in this part of the article, he goes on to say that Grand Theft Auto promotes violent behavior because you have fun blowing up cops and cars and people. And he says that GTA has been heavily criticized for its level of violence and irrelevant approach to various topics. The game's rated R. There's no reason why these people should be playing it and then complaining about how it's too violent. Jeez, people. After talking about GTA and how it's so violent, he then goes on to talk about EA's Battlefield 5. A game that is aimed to depict World War II faithfully. Yeah, it's a game about World War II. Okay, what does he see that's wrong with it? A conflict in which Nazi Germany played a considerable role. Words like Nazi, white man, or Jew are censored in the game chat. Okay, it's a game. You get offended, don't play it. And then, he says that it caused one of the biggest drops of stock price in EA's history. Yeah, I'm not surprised, although EA's stock has been dropping ever since EA started with the microtransactions thing. The game only has words like this in the game is because it is boasted to depict World War II. That's the whole point of the game. And once again, that game is also rated R, just like GTA. PC games are simply glorified gambling machines. Okay, so here... He talks about Star Wars Battlefront 2, also made by EA. He talks about how the game has a bunch of loot boxes and surprise mechanics. Now, basically, he's comparing it to a slot machine in a casino. You can choose not to open the loot boxes. Or you can choose not to play the game. If you don't like loot boxes, then don't play a game made by EA or Ubisoft.